Good morning. I'm Faye Thompson. This morning I'm going to do a cake recipe that my oldest granddaughter likes. One day I asked her not long ago, I said, Catherine, what is your favorite recipe? She says, said, oh, that hummingbird cake. That's what I want. So today we're going to do the hummingbird cake for Catherine. Everybody in this area of the country makes hummingbird cakes, and they are very good cakes. So we'll get started. They're, they're big cakes, so there's three layers. I'm going to use three cups of uh, WR flour. It's all-purpose flour. Two cups of sugar. I've already got all the stuff measured out. Teaspoon of soda. Uh, one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And we mix all that up real good. Uh, we're really not going to use a mixer on this. Three eggs. I believe we had another two yolk egg. Now we have one cup of Crisco cooking oil. And we gotta mix this up. I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. A half a teaspoon of vanilla. Eight ounces of crushed pineapple. Do, do not drain it. A cup of pecans. I, I've chopped those up. You know, I keep pecans chopped up in the freezer all the time. And then when I get ready to cook, you know, I already have them chopped up. Two cups of bananas. And it usually takes about uh, four large bananas. I'll cut them up a little bit and then I'll mash them. It usually takes about four large bananas to make two cups, so most of the time I don't measure it because I, I know that's about what it takes. So If you want to impress somebody with your cooking, make them a hummingbird cake. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to have to spray three. This makes three layers, so i got to spray three pans. And I use this Joy. I don't mess with the oil and the flour. This already has it mixed in, so. Catherine... My uh, oldest granddaughter, oldest grandchild, too. Uh, she's the one that has the mother of my new little great-granddaughter. Only great-granddaughter I have. I haven't got to see her yet. She'll be a year old in June, and uh, I've not seen her. I was going to see her Thanksgiving, and uh, had my plane ticket and everything. She lives in California. And... Uh, I got ready, had my plane ticket, and then my daughter and them said, I don't believe it's safe for you to go with the virus like it is, so. So I didn't go. We want to equally divide this. I hope I'm doing it. If I'm not, I'll put some over in another pan. We're going to put them in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. We're going to do the icing for the hummingbird cake now. We have to have eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, that's what I use, a half a cup of butter. Now we're gonna have to take this over to the mixer and mix this till it's creamy. We're gonna cream the butter and the cream cheese. I had the cream cheese in the butter at room temperature and we'll just beat this till it's creamy. 
We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to add 16 ounces of confectioner sugar to it. We have to beat this until it mixes real good. Then we're going to put a cup of pecans in it. You can put the pecans on the top after you get the made up if you want to. It's just up to you, whatever you want to do. So we're ready to put the icing on. So, you know, I told you, you can put uh, the pecans in the icing, or you could put the icing on and put the pecans on it later. It really doesn't make any difference. It's a lot easier to do this, but sometimes I'll sprinkle a few pecans on it anyway, so. We have to put a layer of of the icing between each cake layer. You know the advantage of having a, a cake plate that's tall like this, it's a little harder to reach, but when we serve the desserts at Christmas time, we serve them on a side table, and it works great. You can have your cakes up here, and then you have your pies and stuff around. It doesn't take up all that bottom space, so. Looks like that's going in there real good. Uh, these cakes freeze pretty good too if you want to make them. Uh, in fact, that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm, I have to cook for a funeral uh, in the South. You know, we still have uh, visitations and cook for the families, and so this is one of the things that I'm cooking, so I thought, well, I'd just save it, put it in the freezer and save it so I can take it to them. A lot of times people will use Lazy Susans so they can just turn it around there easily. I have several Lazy Susans, but sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. We're going to sprinkle a few pecans on top of this. The trouble I have with these cakes is trying to put these pecans on the side. I don't know if you got any secrets. You could answer me and tell me about it. It's always a little messy trying to get them on the side. Are you finished with our cake today now? This is a hummingbird cake. I hope you try it and like it as much as we do, and I hope I see you on another family video. And Catherine, this is for you.